what's up and welcome to x4 um ecosoft was very kind in providing me keys to actually all of the dlcs including the new one the cradle of humanity and i know that this guy is going to yap through me so i'm going to back off for a bit um i've turned on the voices quite loud because we are going in for a story how it is going to end if i'm going to survive i do not know there's one thing that i do want to do and that is go into my game settings although save is going to be off um because the saving takes quite a bit and i do want to be in control of when i actually save so no saving for me uh in between and because it just takes so long the game is immense guys you can see all of these ships here you can fly them it is amazing it really is good so let's get started in with the new game and i'm going for the terran cadet and i'm going to shut up right in now the aftermath of the escalating tensions between the United Space Command and the Commonwealth, culminating in the destruction of the Taurus Eternal. The people of the solar system welcomed the seclusion the Jumpgate shutdown brought with it. In isolation, they prospered and soon began to heal, putting the traumatic events of the past behind themselves. After an initial period of instability, the USC government was restructured, and out of the wreckage of the old, the Terran Protectorate was born. Now, having re-established contact with the Gate Network, we, the Protectorate, are the shield valiantly standing between its inhabitants and the Xenon Menace. The other factions may not recognize us as Supreme Protectors just yet, but they will. Okay, so that is a bit of the intro. Once I click start, you'll actually get into another sort of a cutscene, and I'll like I said, I got the audio up cranked pretty high for my standards, so you can actually get into the story together with me. This campaign is going to be a long one. I'm not sure when it will end. For me, you can build stations, you can build fleets, you can do all of that stuff, and I want to have a bit of a taste of everything. So um, just guide me in what you would like to see, and above all, guys, first episode, smash that like record on my channel and just help the series as well as the channel let's get going ever since i can remember i have dreamt of seeing earth humble origin of our species up close since i was born on a trading vessel in the far orbit around titan the core of the solar system remains according to protectorate policy beyond my reach that is until i have made a name for myself Having recently graduated from cadet school, I aim to do just that. Ugh, tell me again why we're stuck with maintenance duty in Mars of all places. So I took the liberty there to actually skip through the uh, the loading and Is welcome. Going to attack our backyard? Welcome to uh, to our ship, which is um, it actually does look pretty pretty cool. I really enjoy the designs. These uh, you can actually see ourselves. Uh, we're sitting over there. So this is uh, this is our ship. How it is feeling? We have some icons there. Uh, you can actually see that. Um, the weapons, they will move with my cursor. We only have three of them, which is, of course, a shame. This is going to be our ship. Uh, you can actually turn off your cockpit by Control h uh, You can have um, your crosshair moving with Shift-H. And by doing Shift-Spacebar, you can have your ship uh, recognize your mouse movement. Now, this game is also played very nicely with a, um, with a control stick. How do you call them again? Um, a... I have no clue, can't reach the word, but um, which you usually <laughs> use to do these uh, spatial, uh, spatial games. Uh, Spacebar will help us fire. Like I said, we only have three of them. We are going to be following the mission. And what I would like to do is um, I, will, I want to explore a bit. I want to do missions and I want to have satellites almost everywhere and pick up loot. Don't leave that loot because you can get very, very Rich. So by now, let's just Satellite. get over there. It's not too far away. Let's uh, with the uh, the mouse wheel, you can increase uh, your speed. X and Z. Uh, X will increase. Z will uh, decrease. 
and you can have a uh, shift one as your travel mode even traveling faster and there is more than enough other things there's my wingman uh, backspace will actually complete you to a halt uh, this one's fine go check that satellite over there i'll just head over this way so it is uh, it is a bit over there so let's go with travel mode and you can see that my movement speed is now a lot, lot more. Um, by clicking spacebar of actually backspace right now, you <laughs> yeah, will definitely overshoot, uh, which is fine. Look at that. How fast this game goes. Oh, there on the left, you can see stations. I love it. We will have a, um, a very good look at some of these stations because they are absolutely amazing. Really enjoy that. Uh, like I said, the game Wait, is really large, and by showing on the map, you can see these are just three sectors, and how long it took just to fly over there. Uh, yeah, you'll know what Mission the hell is going on. Okay, we need to deploy see, a new satellite. Uh, so let's deploy one for now. And let's check on our wingmate. He is... Still over there, apparently. Trained pilots are among the most vital resources of the Terran Protectorate. Terran aces are known to decimate entire squadrons of adversaries through superior maneuvers. You, by contrast, have none of these qualities. Gee, thanks, Nelly. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that computer. I will overshoot my targets quite a bit. Um, like I said, I'm not very knowledgeable to this game, so a lot of this is new. I actually got my uh, information from another YouTuber uh, called The Rocket Gamer. Uh, diagnostics are taking a tad long on this one. You go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Uh, he actually, and you'll have to search through his playlist, he actually got uh, a lot. We're supposed to show off our superior maneuvers to these useless tin cans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, Typical. interrupt me some more. <laughs> uh, he actually has a lot of videos, um, economical and as well as war campaigns. So if you are interested in, in someone actually knows how to play, because I believe he's like, like uh, 11 to 1200 hours into this game. So uh, be, do, do check him out, do check him out. Uh, let's get over to the satellite. That's uh, full stop. And we are going to be out of the uh, out, of out of our ship. Let's get real close. So when pressing enter, you can go to get up. You can also use the control D okay. key. Welcome to the absolute freedom. And we are going to change that design right now. Um, organization name is uh, is daily industries. Hopefully typed correctly. If not, do let me know because I don't know. Um, logo. It's either windmill or clumps. Both of them are very Dutch. Uh, let's do the clumps. I think it's called clumps. I'm not sure if it's clumps. If you're Dutch and you know how to pronounce these in the English, do let me know. <laughs> um, also, you can uh, you can change the um, default skin of your ship. And I like yellow quite a bit yellow is absolutely my favorite comment there you go there is your icon and let's go over here and we're going out in our spacesuit being in your spacesuit yeah, can be very difficult and it looks like it's been that way for... let's take a look of our ship 13 Earth days, so you can Earth see hours, nine. Damn. just goes to show that nobody cares about this place Okay, let's uh, let's move over our ship. Let's take a look a, a look as well because, like I said, this game is absolutely cool. And this ship, man, the details is so incredible. Engine parts, I believe these are the shields. Full stop. Uh, this is a shield uh, module, and I think I just have one, as well as the weapons over there. It is such a gorgeous game. Now, uh, can I already do that from over here? I don't think so. No, we're way too far out. Um, try to be very gentle with um, the maneuverability of your spacesuit because it can be a damn nightmare. Uh, you can see the the the, um, the meter going up there.
Come on, give me the end of the mission. There you go. Mayday, Mayday. We have a critical engine failure in Mars sector. This botany club. Dead in the void. I repeat. A distress signal. Mission command. We have a civilian ship signaling distress from the outskirts of the sector. Apparently they're having some sort of emergency. Uh, engine failure. Permission to investigate. Mars doesn't do accidents, cadet. Permission granted. Proceed with caution. Yeah. Oh, finally, some action. Let's put our maintenance skills to good use for once, eh? Ooh, there's a logbox. Uh, I will go and look at that, actually, because I, like I said, I want to explore and I want loot. Uh, we'll have more than enough opportunities to go in here because I think we're actually going to be in in our very first now, fight. How did that long range scan work again? By pressing L. Uh, let's full stop here. Uh, we are actually on, on two. This is uh, a shift two you'll use for your mining resources. Shift three is your long range. Holding L, you'll see this bar. And. Don't worry, citizens. The cavalry's here. And you will see actually what is over there as well. So you can do like a full search of, of the sectors. Uh, you can actually now overload these as well. Let me do that once. Uh, let me hold the L and there you go, red bar, nothing is app is doing anything right now. So don't hold them too long, uh, zoom out and you can see we found some unknown stations, we got an accelerator over there and apart from loot, the, only the lockbox, which is a shame. Let's go over there. And uh, hopefully I don't make a complete fool of myself in the, uh, in the next few hours um, and eventually you will be uh, given more freedom that is what this game is about because you can just do almost anything take over the entire galaxy if you want build stations have those fleets just fight all of the other empires and just uh, have a lot of fun but the amount of time required for this game is extreme trust me on this so let's take a look over here it looks like destroyed. Oh, go over here. Breaking formation. Okay, breaking formation. Let's do combat. Hopefully, it's not too loud, guys. Let me know if it's too loud. Uh, you want to make sure that you got your weapons on over there, and don't overload them. You can see that by the weapons icons on the right, um, there is this bar, and it will gradually go up. And as long as this crosshair does give this one. Your weapon should be able to hit the target. Yeah, like I said, our ship is really not that strong. I'm actually struggling quite a bit here to uh, do something about its shields. Come on. Wow, this is... It, it is that we have our wingmate. Seriously? What the? Since when does Xenon send out fake distress signals? No loot. I'll have to look into that because um, these dots that you see there should be where my weapons fire. But I feel they did very, very All little right. damage. Let's go over here and examine the ship. Or actually, the remains of the ship. Because I believe this is one of those... Uh, I, I don't know if it, it could be a destroyer. But like I said, I'm not very knowledgeable about this game. So we'll explore the game together. And hopefully, um, we'll both get into it. Nelly, analysis. Classification. High-tech trader. Crew. Deceased. Cargo. Classified. Reconstructing events. Processing. 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 Permission has been denied. Investigation terminated. Okay. That's quite enough. Our specialists will take over from here. And you, cadets, will hear from me shortly. 
dismissed. At least we got money. Let's go look uh, over towards did this lockbox. Sort of protocol. Uh, I'm not seeing any reprimands in my profile. Well, at least that maintenance task has been cleared, eh? So I guess we're officially on recovery. Uh, let's find something else to do until Mission Command comes back to haunt us. I'll stick with you. And I'm glad that he does because actually he did more, way more damage than us. I'm currently autopiloting, uh, autopiloting towards this, uh, this one. You can actually see that the AI usually drops out of travel mode uh, around the 10,000 uh, kilometers. Let's uh, oh, let's not do that. Uh, Auto let's go autopilot disengage. disengage. Let's go and take a look. Maybe we can grab this. Uh... So let's summarize. Someone or something raided that trading vessel for highly classified high tech goods. They knew the trade route in the outer reaches of our stronghold sector and took out nearby satellites to let the distress signal run aground. And on top of that, Xenon scouts are still drawn to the wreckage days after the incident. Something's brewing. Okay, you'll have to cl cl um, blast these things off. Which... Hmm... I have been known to fail. Especially if it's moving like this. Just a few. Uh, rather saved than sorry, right? There we go. Two more remaining, I think. One more. And then it opens. There we go. Pressing O will um, get a tractor beam going. And let's take a look what we got. So going into our own inventory. There is. There we go. So currently... Um, this is um, security bypass system, security decryption system. If we can sell these without being um, without being scanned, that would be great. Uh, because that's a lot of cash for us. Uh, I don't think we can sell this anywhere. Uh, we need a black market trader. Uh, the Terran, illegal to the Terran protectorate. So we can actually sell this everywhere, but the Terrans. So, knowing that we will get scanned, I'm going to drop those. I know it's a lot of cash, but I just don't feel comfortable having that illegal wares with me. So, it is now floating again in a lockbox. And let's take a look. There was some other thing. Oh yeah, of course, my weapons. Let's put all of them on again. And let's see where we need to, uh, where we need to go. Let's head over towards these stations. And also, do we have a mission somewhere? Guidance? Yeah, okay. Well, that is all fine and dandy. Let's go over there. So this time I'll fly myself. And we can actually see one of the, uh, the first stations uh, in the game. And it is so good looking. Oh, they... granted. <laughs> yeah, really smashed into that one. Um, let's take a look what it is that they want us to do. I think they just... Oh, we actually got damage. Look at that. Uh, we got the Terran Fleet Wolf as well as a Supply Base. Silicon. I think we want to go towards the asteroid belt. So let's guide towards that one. I'm not going to drop a satellite just yet. Uh, we will eventually will do that. But I just don't belt. want to spend the money on it just yet. We don't have to buy ships already. We'll, uh, we'll wait with that. Docking aborted. And let's get going over there. And hopefully there's actually more bases over here. Are they defense platforms? It could be. And we do travel very, very fast. Maybe we'll drop at 20k this time. 
No, let's do 30. There's a lot of ships. Okay, let's take a look. What do we have? There's a fleet in here. Micro factory, orbital defense station. So it's definitely an orbital defense platform. Yeah, let's go through it. Let's see what, uh, what we can do. Since we didn't have any missions, let us do a tiny bit of exploration. I'm sure it's just a amount of time before we get a new mission. But these contraptions really look good. And I know I just said that we can look at the station and I completely forgot to do so. Let's get over there. Slowly get through this portal. Terran security to Talati vessel. You are approaching Terran restricted space. Please divert your course. This is Talati Trader Lucrative Investments to Terran Patrol. We are looking for mutual opportunities to make profits. We are not interested. We insist that you divert your course. But we can surely achieve mutual benefit from... Negative. We demand that you change course immediately. Maybe we can persuade you with valuable information about... We order you to change your course immediately, or we will be obliged to take measures to protect the safety and security of this system. Okay, okay. Changing course. The unrealized profits from this unfortunate loss of opportunity are split equally between each of us. I don't think so. <laughs> There's the, uh... Stork. Sentinel. That is one massive ship. Oh, looks like we're still in Mission Command's good books. They just sent us a posting for a border assignment. Oh. Uh, let's go over towards our missions. Uh, let's go M. Uh, missions. Defenders of Seoul. Uh, we'll definitely go and do this one. So let's accept that. I figured you two would jump at this opportunity. Do not disappoint me. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. There we go. Police. Understood. Okinawa. Okay, let's do uh, the auto control, auto pilot over there. Considering. See, I would have had to drop my cargo if I didn't drop it already. So there was absolutely no point in holding on to those. Um, you will find that there are plenty of loot opportunities arriving. So I'm going to be very, very interested in those. Now, usually you drop like satellites so you can see what, what the movement is. And at some point I will. But I just don't want to do so just yet. Uh, let's get over towards that ship. And uh, I know it's going to be a bit short. But I think it is a good timing to uh, wrap up the episode over there. Because we will be having a lot of combat in the next one. So. Let's take a look at the ship. Uh, by pressing, I believe it's F3. But this ship. Unknown ship. Uh, I can't do it. Unknown ship. Too far away, maybe. Interesting. Terran defense platform. Auto um, Disengaged. Okay. So this is the whole Saul Born militia business that's been Thank you for the bypassing the you autopilot. Increased xenon activity. Others that it's some sort of uh, publicity stunt. Or even a political power play against the intervention core. Uh, well, I'm not one to complain. Not this time anyway. <laughs> Whatever gets us in high command's good books, eh? Militia, squadrons, and foreign auxiliaries. Those of you who were not lucky enough to be born on Terran soil, let me hereby welcome you formally into the ranks of the first and last defenders of the gate network. And to those who are Sol born, or even Earth born, to resist the temptation of heroism and put the defense of our sanctuary first is a sign of providence and true courage. By coming here, you have already made Earth proud. Captain, 
The ball is in your court. Much obliged. This is Captain Nowak Lee of the Military Supply Transport, Silverback. Another welcome from me and my crew, and glad to see the militia is keeping its promises. All squadrons, prepare for liftoff. Oh, I, w I was under consideration that that was that ship, but apparently Okinawa. it is this one. This is the, uh, the Okinawa. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, but guys, like I said, this is, might be a bit short, but um, that is it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.